Hi there, welcome to a new video. Um, it's an unboxing video today. Uh, so this is something I backed on Kickstarter. Uh, it's a book by Alex Hahn called Blop and the Pigeon Pandemic. Now this turned up at Any Gee Towers about 10 days ago. So it's been sat there waiting to open. But well, first up, why open it? Can we just talk about this envelope? It's in really good condition considering it's gone through our postal system. Um, if you remember the last unboxing video, the DUI and uh, three bump copies, they didn't come that far, uh, but they look like they've been kicked every single step of the way. Um, this this envelope, I believe, it looks like an Amazon thing, so it's possible that Amazon actually do sell their own packaging, which would be useful because this could be a good solution for packaging a windbreaker because windbreakers roughly can have the same sort of form format. This is an A4 size book. Um, there's a sticker on there. I'll show you the sticker. It says thank you from blopshop.co.uk. So if you're interested, if you see this book and it appeals to you uh, and you want to buy a copy of this book or any of the other books that Alex has written, then I would assume that's where you need to go. Blopshop.co.uk. Right, enough prevaricating. Let's open this up. Let's find a way to open it. Oh, on close inspection, it looks like this has been re this has been reused because this isn't where an old uh, le uh, it looks like this is uh, uh, where an old label has been. So it's possible Alex has just grabbed himself a load of these pre-used envelopes. Interesting. Still, he says a few things up. Let's have a look at what we got, shall we? All right. So inside that envelope, what else in there is. Looks like another envelope has been cut to act as a folder. It's pretty cool. And I'm digging that. Wow. What a really well presented uh, package. It's in an A4 sleeve, which, you know, I'm loving that. Uh, it's, it's kind of a strange one. Uh, this feels small, uh, small press, but look, you've got a nice BM in there. So that's great. Uh, looks like the sleeve is split at the bottom. It's not necessarily a problem, but look, it comes with all kinds of cool stuff. So let's 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 open up and have a look, shall we? Uh, actually, that one of the problems I have, you've got so much content, it's actually split the seam at the bottom of the sleeve. Uh, the other problem I've got is I can't actually get it out of the sleeve. It is so tightly packed. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Right, let's try getting that. yeah okay that's a that's a problem to have i mean what a problem to have though uh the, the book is that big it's a tight fit and no no that's fine but first up let's have a look at the book itself i'll just put the stretch goal materials to one side for a second we'll come back to them let's have a look at this book okay so it's uh perfect band a4 size. Get that out of the way. Nice front cover. Be very careful. Oh, nice little dedication there from Alex. Thank you, Alex, for that little dedication. Uh, I'm being very careful when I open this. Okay, interesting. So, take a look at the sort of um, sort of style of art we're getting. This is very much a child-friendly sort of very much, very much a child-friendly sort of art style here. Uh, it's very reminiscent to sort of comic strip in that it's reg it, It's sort of well, it looks like this is based on what three tiers. But Alex isn't afraid to sort of split the tier sort of verti uh, horizontally, sorry, vertically. Um, yeah, to actually split that, to actually give yourself potentially two, four, six, six tiers. And the text sits lovely. You know, it doesn't feel cramped. 
So I've noticed the text on this. This text looks a lot smaller than the rest of this text. I mean, it doesn't, I won't mind, but there's, I mean, there's not that much, it's not like it's running out of space, but I mean, yeah, this looks, this looks great. I'm not going to read the whole book because we don't want to do that, but at a certain point, yeah, yeah, it gets covered in gunk. I think it's much on the first page. Yeah, first page covered in gunk. And I suspect this will be a, a running thing throughout the book. Um, it's printed on the back, the back of the, the gutters is a sort of off-white, sort of pinky off-white colour. Um, I quite like that, quite like that a lot actually. It helps give this a really retro feel. It, 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 you know what it gives me a feel of? Uh, like newsprint. I mean it isn't, but the paper is, it's got that lovely feel to it as well. Oh, I think I've, I think I've, uh, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with my purchase, you know. Um, I think this is going to be a great read. Um, I've got a six-year-old daughter, and I think we might read some of this together. Uh, oh, but yeah, this is this is beautiful. This is. I'm loving shading. It's lovely. Sorry, uh, I'm getting into the book. Uh, I don't want to get into the book. On this video uh, but there's some lovely sort of touch of shading here with a, just a slightly darker tone of, of, of green for the for the alien there brilliant love it love it love it pages are numbered let's see if there's anything on the back page the inside cover is pretty cool actually um these artwork this artwork looks like potentially it could be other covers things like this uh, so yeah this looks great Oh, actually, <laughs> it says on the back here, all ages. Um, this is the sort of comic that, this is the sort of thing that I like to write. Um, so, I cannot not give this, like, a bad review. I just can't, because it's like, it's like, I, I, you can't see me doing this, but chef's kiss. It's, it's, it, this is a great looking book. Um, now, if you want to get this retail, it's going to cost you 15 quid. But look at this. This is a... How many pages? 83, sort of 80, 88 pages, roughly thereabouts. 84, so 86 pages. But it's got an extra bit on the back here as well, and a little guide to how to wash your hands. Brilliant. Uh, and I'm not certain, but there is a foreword which mentions that this was put together, a lot of this was put together during the pandemic. So it's sort of topical, um, but look at that. Wonderful. Right, let's have a quick look at the extra bits that came with it. So first up, we've got a couple of mini comics. Little Blup Book of Cool. It's a mini comic. <laughs> uh, a little dedication in there as well. Uh, this is lovely put together. What's this going to be? Uh, probably A6 or thereabouts. Brilliant. Lovely, 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 lovingly put together. It's, I'm not sure how many pages it is, but let's find out. Let's find out how many pages there are, shall we? Two, four, six, 16 pages. Uh, beautiful, beautiful thing. So this is, this is number two of the series. So I'm guessing that this must be, oh, number four. Okay, that's cool though. Yeah, look, this is from 2018, this is from 2019, so there'll be a whole bunch of these. Again, signed again. These will be, no doubt, you'll be able to get these um, in uh, in the Blop Shop. This one's very, this one's very monochromatic. This is all very much green. Although the, the speech balloons, they're sort of a pinky purple. Bring that up close. Hard to tell, but they really do pop against the green. It's on the green paper as well, so it could just be that they're white. Actually, I think it's just white. That's actually quite impressive. Because you imagine you you actually pinking, you're actually now colouring. You're getting white paper, you're colouring it green, and then putting black on top of that as well, and possibly a bit of yellow here. It's a very small, very limited palette, but I think it really works for this sort of size format. So. 
Yeah. And this is the first edition, so... I don't know if this is the first edition, actually. This is the first edition? This is also the first edition. Hey, that's some first edition bloop stuff. Uh, there's a bookmark. Uh, bookmarks are always fun. Of all of the various characters in the book, which I don't, I'm not familiar with a lot of the bloop stuff, so this is going to be a fun read for me. And then finally, we have a behind... Oh, behind the scenes. Brilliant. Oh, and this opens out. Oh, okay. So this opens out. Oh, okay. Oh, lots of uh, story, uh, a lot of makings of, and it's laid out wonderfully. Uh, questions about brushes, uh, stuff about making your own comic, which is brilliant. I'm going to read this, of course, um, and see what applies, what I've, what I've taken, what I do already in terms of um, Windbreaker and the stuff we do at Anyki Press. And yeah, this is great. Um, you know what? I thought this was going to be a very, very short video. Just a very quick unboxing. Um, how wrong was I? Um, this is a cracking little set. I mean, okay, admittedly, if you're going to the block shop and you're getting this, you're getting that. You're probably not getting all this stuff. But this extra stuff is brilliant. So, I mean, I backed it for... I forget how much I backed it for, but... Um, what, a, what a really great sort of... Uh, what a really great thing to get for the post. Um, so yeah, this I'm, I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to start reading and digging into this. I'll probably jump into this tonight. Um, so yeah, um, Alex. Well done. Uh, good, good stuff. I can't, I'm trying to give it two thumbs up. This looks bright, great. And this is the sort of book. It's very, very, very rare. Sometimes it happens maybe a couple of times a year. You, you read a book and go, God, I wish I could have, I wish I could have made that. It's the book I, this is this is a book I wish I could have made. Uh you made it, so kudos to you. This is brilliant. Um I can't wait to read this. This this is really right up my alley. Uh this is really appealing to me. And I can't wait to get digging in. So there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um wow. What an unboxing. I'd forgotten that all these stretch goals and various bits are unlocked. I knew the, the book was coming. I was quite interested in the book. Uh, to actually see it, the whole, this whole package together um, was brilliant. Um, so, I mean, cool. What a Kickstarter. Yeah, we're definitely going to be talking about this when we come to wrap up the year. This, Space Axolotl, and a bunch of other things. Um, yeah, what a year. What a... <laughs> the package anyway um so next video we're going to be doing some lettering on windbreaker so join me then dear viewer and uh we can you can watch me put some text into some balloons uh in the meantime uh like comment share subscribe all of that good good stuff and uh we're gonna see you in the next one all right you take care now all right bye